Of well, thank you so much, Heather and Anthony. Hold on to your wallet. Prices for all kinds of things are going up. You might have been noticing this lately. Inflation is something we've been hearing about a lot lately. But what is really behind this price increase? Jessica Clark is on your side getting a rock bottom explanation from a professor who explains in a language that we can all understand. Oh, I mean, I love to talk to people about econ. It's like my favorite thing. It really is. And with um, that, let's pick Dr. Blen Solomon's brain about inflation. Yeah, of course, in the next couple of months, it is going to rise. She's an economics professor at Flagler College. Companies such as Kimberly Clark that makes diapers and paper products and General Mills that makes cereals have said expect prices to jump. The inflation rate is calculated by something called CPI, Consumer Price Index, basically a shopping bag full of different categories and their prices. So, uh, for example, housing, food and beverages, oh, transportation, and even apparel. And these are just to name a few. Prices for all kinds of things have risen overall in the last year, but why? Solomon says vaccination rates are up and people are going out. And for that reason, demand is going up for a lot of the goods and services that um, were, you know, had seen very low demand in the past. Another reason, supply chains are being disrupted. Remember, during the pandemic, some, um, you know, countries were totally shut down. There was nothing going in or out. So the stuff needed to make the products we use was not coming in. And then that giant cargo ship stuck in the Suez Canal, putting another kink in the supply chain. That was a major one, right? Um, you know, that causes manufacturing to stall and the demand is still there, right? And so they, they raise prices. Another reason for prices to inch up, gasoline prices are going up. But don't panic. This because... econ expert says the inflation rate is expected to taper off and normalize by the winter. Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.